Well, hey there, team. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Tin Can. Now, look, I know it's definitely silent, but I thought it was per worth putting up this sort of splash screen note that is on boot to Tin Can from good old Billy Burke, the solo developer. And I'll tell you one thing. You know what's better than this game? I know it's hard to believe because the best thing on the planet right now is this game. But the one thing that's better than this game is how much you guys love that first episode and that you want more and you share the same interest as me. So we're going to just keep playing this game until you guys get sick of it. So keep watching, you know, <laughs> and, and I'll keep making it. Um, so he's basically saying, look, it's only a single developer thing. You, you'll find bugs. I'll intend to fix them as soon as possible. I love this human approach. This is the reason why indie games are exploding and why YouTube, for example, like me, why people like me are doing well on YouTube these days, I truly think, because people really like the uh, the true uh, peek behind the curtain, just honest slice of life stuff. And this is this is smart doing this, right? Can uh, has been built with the help of our community, and I intend to keep it that way for the rest of development. There'll be a major update once every month, and you'll find the next features on the official Discord. Oh, we'll have to have a look into that. I'll, I'll have to go and participate. Um, with your support, let's push this concept as far as it can. See you there in space. Oh, ah, it's fucking loud. Okay. Um, well, that's a cool little bloody animation. Um, cool, 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 cool. All right, all right. We're gonna give. Uh, we're gonna give. Uh, hardcore bloody. What's this? Oh, I can play it in French. No, 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 no. Oh my god, that reminds me. I was on a warship once upon a time. I won't go into details <clears throat> because I'm probably legally not allowed to. But um. But essentially, the way it was manufactured, it was almost split down the center. It was insane how many components were uh, German-based. So this was a hull that was probably, you know, 30 years old compared to me at the, like, at the time. Because you, you keep warships in service for a long time. Because it takes a long time to build one, you know? So you probably get 50 years out of a ship. Uh, especially during peacetime. And half, half of it was French and half of it was German. I shit you not. So you, you, we would use terms all over the ship because you use shorthand. You know, people say like, you know, starboard and port and all that sort of thing. And, um, and like, I won't, I won't use specific terms, but essentially you're speaking half French, half German all the time on an Australian fucking warship. <laughs> so that was pretty funny. Anyway, so we're going to give hardcore a go straight away. Apparently this is the one, right? Aim for the longest survival time, beat the community in this horrifying, right? I'm going to set the top record of like three minutes. Christ, I better make three minutes after saying that. Anyway, so I joke. It's like, oh yeah, we could play it in French. It's like, mate, I already have. I played realism mode in French. Loading the tin can. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Hang on. Oh. Okay, we've got power. We're powering up. We're good. All right, error codes. Oh, hang on. No, no, no. The computer's... The computer's... Wait, what the fuck? Don't crouch, sir. I didn't tell you you could crouch. On bat. Error on bat. Error on bat. Error on bat. Collision alert. Brace for impact. Okay, hang on, hang on. Error. Wait, the error codes? I mean, I'm, I'm assuming on bat means like battery or some shit. Main computer. Buzzer. Pump. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Low power. On battery. Hang on. Power received by the system is too low. Well, I could have figured that out on my own. Alright. Hang on. Hang on. I know it says on bat, but... Jesus. Oh. Something was beeping then. Oh, what's this? Oh, what is that? Nitri liquid nitrogen? Oh, that's cooling. Okay, cool. Yeah, look, the ammeter is on point and the atomic temperature is on point, right? We've learnt this much, team. We've come this far. Could you please, please stop? Uh oh. Uh, oh, is that a different error list? See, now that doesn't seem good. All right, hang on, hang on. So we've got a temperature problem. 
15 degrees, 14 degrees. We're not warm enough. We're not warm enough. Okay, hang on. Let's, um... Let's pull the... No, no, what is that? That's the main generator. Let's have a look in here. So that's the atomic pile. Large power transformer. Right, the atomic pile seems to be repair, uh, sending out enough power, but there's a problem behind that. Liquid nitrogen is fine. Yeah, okay, 11, 12 degrees. Are you telling me that it's not hot enough? I sort of get the impression that that's what it's saying. Can I make this go harder? Somehow? I'm not sure. Uh oh. That's it. Oh, Jesus. We've done this dance before. Sixteen. All right, that's going up. Pressure. Pressure's going up. Is that what's going on? Have we got too much pressure? I can't tell. All right, but this, again, we're, we're under temperature. It's not gonna be the gravity generator. Uh, okay, hang on. I don't know where I get these error codes from. Oh. I wonder if they're specifically for the multiplayer thing. It's like... Yeah, maybe they actually are, to be honest. Um, breathability. Pod atmosphere temperature conditions. That's fine. No, all of that's fine. Breath breathability's... Questionable. Hang on. It stopped beeping. Main generator produces required power necessary. Energy generated by atomic pile. Yeah, okay. The hotter the pile is, the more energy produces. The green bars indicate the amount of energy currently needed for all systems. Right? Beware. It can take some time for the atomic pile to heat up or cool down. Always make sure systems are properly equipped with power transformers and fuses to avoid damaging them with improper energy levels. Okay. Processor inside the generator stabilizes temperature to proper levels. A damaged processor can stop the atomic pile from being properly cooled. Well, that's not the problem necessarily, is it? Well, properly cooled? Maybe overcooled? So what are they suggesting? The, um... Processor. Now, right, let's have a look. High capacity fuse. I could have sworn there was a processor around here. Power transformer. Almost guarantee we know what that is. Oh god, I'm lost. I'm lost! 
അതെ See that does the job. 5.3, 4. Oh, hang on. No, it's unstable. Why is it unstable? Hang on. Master warning. Oh no, hang on. You go back up. Wait, hang on, 2.6, 2.1. Bad fuse, bad data. Okay, hang on. Fuse. I think we probably want to turn this thing off, right? And then we can pull the fuse out. Now, there's a repair station. Repair station. Do not open while in operation. Okay. Closed door. Repair. Required parts. Need parts? Oh, do I pull parts? Wait, no. I mean, need parts. Wait, temperature manager? Hang on, I need to read this real. Green indicates the cargo temperature. Heat is produced. It's important to note that most of the pod will heat. Will slowly by naturally cool by the pod. Okay, that's fine. Rep repair station. It allows for the repair of damaged components when possible. It is uh, It allows you to dismantle a computer, a component for spare parts. Fix something the station must be in working order. Have enough power and use the user must have enough spare parts. Integrated screen displays the amount of parts required compared to how many of them the user has in his position. Repair speed depends on the complexity of the component. It allows dismantle a component for spare parts. Dismant. Repair. Right. So what's this? The emergency lights? What do we got in here? Large battery. Do you have a fu Is there a fuse in here? There is. Fuck this. Turning that off. Oh shit, hang on. Empty bottle, empty bottle, empty bottle. Cold atomic bar. Pod too low oxy. Well, I know that. All right, it's coming back up. Error list. Data. Bad data. All right, the oxygen's coming back up. Buzzer. Data connector. Uh-oh. There go our emergency lights that I'm de destroying. Um... Power transformer. Um. Fuck this. Dismantle.
Oh no! My battery went flat. Does that work now? Oh, probably not. No, because I think I destroyed the fuse. On battery, empty bottle. This isn't working fast enough. Alright, hang on, we'll get the battery on. There goes my gravity. Because of the pile. Send it back. Main comp offline. Yeah. Um. Power transformer, high capacity fuse, power connector. Atomic shield, probably don't want to take that off. Power transformer, we need the transformer, right? Data connector. I mean, what happens if I do take the atomic shield off? Oh, it's happening now. Any chance that the Atomic pole temperature's going up. Um, maybe. Where'd the other part go? Alright, hang on, we got this, we got this. Coolant, right? There was coolant up here. Large battery. Pump. Power transformer. Fuck it, I'm going to pull the coolant out altogether. <clears throat> All right. I think we're in all sorts of trouble here.
learning how to get more temperature out of the uh, out of the system. No, now we're in all sorts of trouble. Hang on. All right. Turn the master computer off. I don't actually want to turn that off. <gasps> I died. Um, cause of death, hypoxia, too much CO2 and not enough O2. Right, okay, that makes sense. Let's go again. Um, main menu. Oh, there you go, there's my hardcore score. That's the one to beat. Scenarios, oh, cool. Yeah, right, so... I didn't have enough power. And I don't know if I could make the atomic pile go hotter. If that makes sense. I don't know if it's regular. It's got to be regulated, right? I guess it's a it's a nuclear sort of reaction. Um, so unless we can tweak it to make it put out more juice, you know what I mean? Like there's a drawer on it as well. We can try and reduce the drawer. There's probably a couple of different ways to deal with it. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. I guess that's what I was trying to figure out, is what's throttling its, um, its reaction. Is it coolant, whatever? It might, might well be that we just have to bring all the systems down to, like, nothing. To reduce the draw on the, uh... Alright, so we've got a full O2 bottle over there. And those are about half and half. So I'm actually going to jump the gun here and get the O2 bottle out. Yeah. Um... Temperature manager. Pump. I guess if I pulled the battery out. 21 point 21.7 20 no that was 20.8 okay well the batteries are back up right can I pull the pump out without dying 21 now we're talking yeah now we're warming up all right pulling the pump out helps So that might be, well, last time, I don't think it was working at all. I pulled the coolant out and I pulled the, well, I had no battery power. You know what I mean? All right, laughing. Laughing. All right, so we've got, we've got the main lights. We've got the, the emergency lights. I love that, I absolutely love that if we want to repair something, we need to scavenge the rest of the ship. Story J, I don't think they can be interacted with. Though as far as like redundant systems, like seriously, I think we're just going to have to juggle. The first thing to go for me would probably be the emergency lights, I would say. But, um, but we'll have to, like, swap them out of certain systems, I think. Like, we'll end up with one fuse that we can move around between everything.
I know it's a video game, but I don't, I don't really think the straight one-to-one -one swap works. Or rather, where's the carbon go? Pump. Use. Bad fuse. Bad fuse, eh? Oh, no, no, it's got power on, you idiot. No, no, stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're laughing now. Look at this. Everything's online. Gravity generator. Hang on, let's have a look in here. Battery. Data connector. Couple of large processors. Power connector, transformer. Oh man. We could absolutely scavenge that system, eh? What's this? Empty bottle. Okay. Dirty filter. Oh, look at this. If only I'd thought to check these errors, we'd be for fine. Did that just say on bat? Dirty filter. Oh, there's a filter in this as well. Okay, that's good to know. On battery. That must have been when I pulled the filter out, it turns the system off. Alright, they're all on target still, so that's good. That's fine. Everything seems pretty good at the moment. And this has an error listing as well. Okay. Mate, we're laughing. I don't think you can... Oh. That must be part of the battery fast charger. Because that's got its own systems in there as well. Okay. Getting the head hang of it now. I'm not certain, because we put a dodgy fuse in there, if you recall. Actually, can we interact with the fuse? Like on the on the ground sort of thing? No. We'll give it a go there. But that fuse is probably cactus, right? We kind of established that. A 
logic components. So power components, power transformer, battery. So that's all power in there. And then all the data and that. Okay, there's quite a bit large processors. Okay. I understand. Press to unlock. I don't know if that's sensible. That wouldn't be my brightest moment would be opening that. Look at this, we're killing it. Did I do hardcore? I can't remember. I hope I did. Um, what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm not doing it for the memes or anything like that, but we're at a point where we're getting towards the end of like a 30 minute bracket. I wanna find out what happens if I pull on this handle. Can we Can we go on a spacewalk? Do I die immediately? Whatever. If there was ever a time to figure it out, it's gonna be this point. Let me have a look. Can I put on a spacesuit or something? Open or close with the mouse wheel. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh. Wait. Ice nebula detected. Is there zero pressure in here? Zero pressure, zero everything. Ah, oh, I've basically killed myself. Right, and it's... Oh, okay, so it's stabilizing pressure. This is a good thing that I checked this out, actually. So I'm not allowed to seppuku outside, right? Why am I not dying, is the question. I doubt the air is very breathable now. Yeah, a lot of zeros. Oh, we've got a red light on. And the sound's gone as well, so there could be a whole bunch of warnings going off, but I can't hear them. On bat, yeah, the atomic piles shit the bed. You know, probably a good thing I did this, because I should be dead, right? Yeah, there's no air. Okay. Okay. So this still needs some work. I guess they weren't anticipating someone killing themselves. I don't know if you can get like fires in the pod, but this seems like one way to deal with it. You know what I mean? Would be to like... Oh, we, oh you can see the like the icy... Icy nebula and the window freezing up. Well, anyway, I don't want to... I don't want to drag this out because... Because I'm, I'm clearly alive when I should be dead. Um, but that's all right. That was, uh, that was good. I still love this game to death and I'm figuring it out. I need to figure out how to, um, well, we figured out how to, to sort of regulate heat, but the atomic pile just starts running low. So I wonder if you just have to, do you just have to like turn off all your essential systems? I don't really know how to bloody overclock it, how to make the pile go harder. So I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway, it'll be fun. We'll figure it out on the next one. And I know I sort of bricked that second playthrough, but hey, I wanted to know what would happen if we opened that door. And it's a good thing we did, so we know pretty much not to open it. There might be a mechanic around it at a later stage. I might try and check out the Discord before the next episode, because I have a feeling you guys are probably going to watch a few of these. Um, and we'll see if we can get an idea of what's coming up in the future for the next update that they alluded to. All right, cool. Team, I st I'm still in love with this game. Thanks again for joining me. We might just leave it there for the time being, and I will catch you guys on the next one.